the first epistle to the Thessalonians with a word of wisdom from our Father in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Paul and Silvanus at Timotheus, also known as Silas and Timothy, under the church of the Thessalonians, which is in God the Father and in the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We give thanks to God always for you all, making mention of you in our prayers, remembering without ceasing your work of faith and labor of love and patience of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ in the sight of God and our Father, knowing, brethren, beloved, your election of God. And in the futurist sense, these letters to the Thessalonians look forward to the seventh trumpet, which is when the true Christ returns two and a half months after Satan will appear as the false Christ in Jerusalem at the sixth trumpet, which is when God's elect, meaning those of the seven thousands of Doc, who are the church in Philadelphia, will get delivered up for refusing to worship Satan when he appears as the Antichrist, which is when the Holy Spirit will speak through them, bringing the 144,000 who are the church in Smyrna out of the deception, the 144,000 being God's elect also because they're predestined to repent because of what the Holy Spirit will say through those of the church in Philadelphia, but also some of those who have free will will choose to repent, whereby they can take part in the first resurrection and also at the seventh trumpet when the true Christ returns along with the armies which were in heaven which are the rest of the seven thousands of Doc who have lived and died throughout the centuries. For our gospel came not unto you in word only but also in power and in the Holy Spirit and in much assurance as ye know what manner of men we were among you for your sake. And ye became followers of us and of the Lord having received the word in much affliction with joy of the Holy Spirit, so that ye were examples to all that believe in Macedonia and Achaia, for from you sounded out the word of the Lord, not only in Macedonia and Achaia, but also in every place your faith to God were to spread abroad, so that we need not to speak anything, because the chain reaction that began in Acts chapter 2 was still underway, and it continues to this day, but in the great apostasy that will happen in the midst of Daniel's 70th week, which was seven years, but is now five months, most Christians will be killed spiritually when Satan appears in Jerusalem as the Antichrist, leaving only those of the Zadok who are the church in Philadelphia, and when the Holy Spirit speaks through them in a language understood by whoever hears it when they get delivered up to death, which is one of Satan's names, that same sort of chain reaction will begin again, and whosoever chooses to repent during that time will become part of the millennial priesthood that will come into being at the seventh trumpet when the true Christ returns as King of kings and Lord of lords. For they themselves show of us what manner of entering in we had unto you, and how ye turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God, just as many will repent during the latter half of the five-month-long hour of temptation because of what the Holy Spirit will say through those who get delivered up during that time, and to wait for his Son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, even Jesus, which delivered us from the wrath to come to wait for the true Christ who doesn't return at all until the seventh trumpet.